Yo, this is Good Vibes TV, and I wanted to make a video. I'm playing Red Dead Online, and I wanted to make a video to talk about something. Another one of the um, the many things that can be fixed in Red Dead Online right now. The beta, since it's in beta, they're probably gonna keep it like that for a minute, huh? Just so they can keep it, use it as an excuse to, um, not exactly make it great. But, who knows. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about, was, let me get away from this guy, was, uh, how, um, you should, uh, yeah, Rockstar, you should, uh, make it so you could at least choose what type of game modes you want to play because right now I think the only way you could play online mode is going through here and you can't actually choose whether you want to play team deathmatch or anything or like any one of the other modes if you really like make it count on that um let's be going over some shit in the game really um now when it comes to the economy a lot of people are talking about that within the economy I think that they did they made a step in the right direction to uh try to make it more balanced but where they went wrong still now is if you go into a store <laughs> The stuff, like the prices of every item, it's kind of like, it's more reflective of shit, of prices that you'd find today, you know. If you want a suit, you'll find one for like 260 bucks. That's pretty accurate. I mean, if you want a decent suit in real life right now, you, you could probably go to Macy, I mean, fucking like, Giorgio Armani or something and give them 19 gold bars or 290 bucks will get you a decent suit with uh with some what's that fur coat a nice hat give you little boots and a gun this one gives you cards what's that i don't know what he's holding up but you know what i mean uh what they should have done instead was basically make it so what games you game modes you play or if you play some story missions within the online mode uh, make it so that each mission pays out very low which at first you're gonna be like what the fuck they they just change it from that but what I'm also saying is to also make the items super cheap so Basically, what you're gonna have is if you play a mission, you're gonna get like I don't know, fucking nine, eight dollars or twelve max. And then, if you want a gun in the game, make it about like 45, 50 bucks, 75. Sniper rifle could go for like 120 or 200 bucks at the very max or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's, that way, it's a lot more balanced and it kind of seems like you're still in the wild west. Cause the uh, the pricing within story mode was pretty damn good. It kind of felt like you didn't have to grind too much, but you also kind of like had so much shit to do. Speaking more into that having shit to do, let me push this up. You, um, you basically should, uh, fucking have more stuff to do. It's kind of like, it feels empty. Aside from having players in the online mode and them being toxic as fuck and running around to kill people, or, or they're, they're being pretty chill right now. I've been getting a lot of chill lobbies. But sometimes you'll just run into those assholes that want to shoot at anything they see. 
Uh, maybe this guy's one of them. Let's see. Bars. Um, and, yeah, you don't necessarily want that. I forgot where I was going. I'm going back. But, yeah. The uh, online economy. Player base. Player base is kind of toxic. Totally out of passive mode on that. Um. I don't know. I'm just kind of like fucking rambling on now. But I just wanted to bring some some shit to light in the game. And yeah. Thank you for watching. That's me. Yo. One thing they did really well. They made they did a damn good job at making it so you could create a character that kind of looks like yourself. Like, it's pretty freaking crazy. And you don't need no face scan tech like Rainbow Six Siege's trash for us. system. Alright, thank you for watching.